PCD duct rotters can sometimes break. The simplest thing to do then is to take the two broken halves of the duct rotter and repair them with a splice connector. I'm going to run through this and show you how it's done. The first thing you need to do is clean the broken ends of the rod where it fractured. You just want to take a hacksaw. If you can clamp the rod, you're better off. Cut it short, smooth and flat. Finish trimming with a knife. Now you want to score all the way around the plastic jacket. Not quite halfway back. The splice connector has two bores in it. One's a through bore for the diameter of the rod. The second has a shoulder where the jacket will be enclosed. So cut back three quarters of the length of half. So I'm going to cut back to about there. And mark it. Score the plastic jacket about an inch and a quarter back for a 3 8 size. Use a hand file to clean up the corners and the rough spots on the rod. Add a little bit of a chamfer to the front end just to make life easier when inserting the splice connector. Back the hex nuts out of the splice connector so there's room in the board to seat it. And you got the rod clean. As a redundant measure, take a little bit of the crazy glue that was provided in the accessory kit and apply to the rod. Not too much, generous. Take the splice connector. Set it over the rod. Rubber mallet can help here. Drive it home. You're aiming for about the halfway point. Mop up any loose crazy glue. Retighten the hex set screws, four on each side, tighten them in deep because these will actually bite into the fiberglass and give you a mechanical lock in addition to the glue. Take the other end of the broken rod that you've already cleaned up, work the two ends together, nice and tight, tighten the four hex screws on the opposite side. Nice and tight. Bite them right into the fiberglass and then the connector will be as strong as you need it. The finished connection will not be as flexible as the rod in the cage. Use caution when spooling a broken section back into your rod cage. It will flex, but that splice connector will not be as flexible. That's it. That's how you repair a broken duct rod.